Saddest Celebrity Moments Caught on Camera, Part 2 Britney Spears' 2007 Meltdown Britney, then 25 years old, had filed for divorce from Kevin Federline. Both parties filed for sole custody, and it's not long before Britney is out of control, parting without her underwear with Paris Hilton and hurling an umbrella at a paparazzi. The Los Angeles Salon, where the toxic singer famously shaved her head in February 2007, is owned by Esther Tognotti. Tognotti revealed in the special that one of the two bodyguards who accompanied Spears to the salon opened the blinds multiple times to allow the horde of photographers outside the store to photograph Spears shaving her own hair. With her bald head and green umbrella, she attacked a car belonging to a photographer, Daniel Ramos, after she had issued a desperate plea for privacy. <laughs> Spears' comeback single, Gimme More, was released in September of that year. She debuted the song at the 2007 MTV VMAs, dressed in a black bedazzled bikini, mid-cuff boots and hair extensions. She had not given a major performance in three years. The actor, who rose to fame for her incredible Vimier's performances, delivered a flat, unenthusiastic performance, complete with lip-syncing. Indeed, 2007 was a rough year for Britney Spears. Billy Lord pays tribute to her mother, Carrie Fisher. In 2016, Carrie Fisher and her mother, Debbie Reynolds, died tragically within a week of each other, and our hearts cried for Fisher's daughter, Billy Lord. Lord made an appearance at a Star Wars event in Orlando, Florida, in April 2017. She was dressed in a custom Tom Ford dress that paid tribute to Princess Leia and delivered an emotional speech that had everyone in tears. The Scream Queen's actress said in her speech, My mother, like Leia, was never afraid to speak her mind and say things that most people will find offensive, but not me or you. That was why she adored you. You accepted and embraced her completely. She taught me that if life isn't funny, then it's just true, and that is unacceptable. And finally, I learned by knowing her that the most evolved person is seemingly a contradiction. They're both the strongest and the most vulnerable person in the room, and that was her. That is Leia. Ben Affleck, a cheating bastard. When Jennifer Garner and her husband, Ben Affleck, announced their divorce in 2015, it broke our heart. During those sad times, a paparazzi caught Ben Affleck and Jennifer Garner in a car. There we see Jennifer crying. When it was discovered that Affleck had been cheating on Garner with her nanny, our hearts broke once more, but this time, just for Jennifer. Garner deserved better than this. There are few things more nasty and absurd than cheating on your wife with a nanny, and she deserved better. After rumors of the actor's infidelity surfaced in the media, Ben Affleck and Jennifer Gardner became the center of attention. Christine Uzunian, their nanny, reportedly had an affair with a Batman star and accepted notoriety until the married couple's divorce. In 2018, Gardner and Affleck divorced and agreed to co-parent their two children. They've remained friends since then, with the actress supporting her ex-husband in his alcohol abuse recovery. Jenny Slate and Chris Evans reunion after breaking up Jenny Slate and Chris Evans won our hearts when they announced their relationship in 2016, after co-starring in the film Gifted. Everyone was fascinated by their relationship, because Slate is the unassuming and charming comedian we all aspire to be and Evans is the handsome hunk we all aspire to be with. The relationship, however, was not meant to be, and the two called it quits in early 2017. However, the two reunited at the premiere of their film in April, and there appeared to be no hard feelings between them. Evans even called Slate his favorite human. Though the breakup was heartbreaking, Slate has demonstrated that she does not require a man in her life to succeed and be happy. As the image of myself becomes sharper in my brain and more precious, I feel less afraid that someone else will erase me by denying me love," she wrote in her most famous tweet. Very well said. 
Celebrities and fans at Paul Walker's funeral. On December 12, 2013, friends and family of the late Paul Walker gathered for his small and intimate funeral. The Fast and Furious star, who died in a car crash with his close friend and driver Roger Rodas on November 30, 2013, was cremated on a Thursday and his ashes were put to rest over the weekend. Mourners were seen arriving at Hollywood's Forest Lawn Memorial Park to bid their final farewell to Paul in a 45-minute, non-denominational ceremony. Among those in attendance were the actor's parents, Paul Walker Sr. and Cheryl Walker, his brothers, Caleb Walker and Cody Walker, as well as other close friends and family. The cast of Fast and Furious 7, which at that moment the filming was stopped due to Walker's death, came. Among those who went was Tyrese Gibson and Vin Diesel. Tyrese Gibson, a close friend of Walker, helped his family for the funeral preparations. Tyrese Gibson and Vin Diesel were seen in the funeral while crying. The Furious 7 song, See You Again music video, we see a scene of Walker's character and Diesel's character riding separate cars on two separate roads, which symbolizes that even after death, they will always remain as friends and they will see each other again on the other side. And there we have it guys, saddest celebrity moments caught on camera. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe and click the notification bell to get more updates. See you in the next video.